This school stabilizes our community. Those are the strong words used tonight during a gathering of community leaders, parents and students in Lawrence County who want Ari Hubbard's high school to stay open. But the district superintendent says the school needs to shut down, citing poor enrollment. News 19's Archie Snowden joins us now in the studio to share those details of the meeting. Archie. Okay, thank you, Madison. Residents have been fighting for the past few years that the superintendent says, uh, you know, it's wrong and R.A. Hubbard is closing and they want to show them the only way that they know how. And that's by showing unity uh, as the deadline approaches to submit a proposal to close. <laughs> Residents of Cortland, along with teachers, students and leaders of the NAACP, gathered at the First Baptist Church to say we need our school. So I really want to keep the school open. John Tirius is in the sixth grade at Hazelwood Elementary. He's looking forward to moving on to R.A. Hubbard and graduating just as his mother Shanika has done, as well as both his parents and his grandparents did. If they close R.A. Hubbard, it's going to take a lot from the community. Our community is a family. Everybody loves Hubbard. Hubbard has been under repeated threats of closure from the school board and superintendent. The predominantly black school serves as a pillar in the community. The importance, leaders say, is second only to the significance of the black church. The school stabilizes the small town and fosters a sense of belonging to the children while serving as the only foundation for academic achievement. For it to close would be devastating. Not only do you remove the, uh, the school from the community, you remove the legacy of the school, what it took to get to school here. The bottom line, leaders say, is money. Superintendent Dr. Brett Smith says that failing attendance, the cost of over 18000 per student, is reportedly the highest in the county. When you continue to lose uh, schools in the community, the children, they leave the community. Now, R. Hubbard has had 100% graduation over the past three years. A final school board meeting is scheduled for Monday, December 6th in Moulton.